A STUNNING NEW DEVELOPMENT TONIGHT IN THE CASE OF A BALTIMORE CITY POLICE OFFICER ACCUSED OF KILLING HIS STEPSON. LESS THAN 24 HOURS BEFORE HIS TRIAL, ERIC BANKS JR. ENTERS AN OFFER PLEA, ALLOWING HIM TO AVOID TRIAL ALTOGETHER. BUT WHAT EXACTLY IS AN OFFER PLEA? Yeah, WJZ LIVE AT 11 O'CLOCK. ANNIE ROSE RAMOS SPOKE WITH BANKS' ATTORNEY A LITTLE BIT EARLIER TONIGHT. ANNIE ROSE, WHAT DID HIS ATTORNEY SAY ABOUT WHY HE MADE THIS PLEA? Vic, tonight I got to ask Eric Banks' attorney whether he thought his client was guilty of killing his 15-year-old stepson. He tells me he still doesn't know, but what he does know is that if he were placed on the jury of this case, he would convict his own client. A Baltimore City police officer taking a plea deal a day before his case was set to go to trial. Most jurors down here probably going to convict me of first degree, so I'll take the plea for second degree. 35 year old Eric Banks Jr. accepting an Alfred plea to one count of second degree murder of his 15 year old stepson, Tassan Jones, known as DJ. But what is an Alfred plea? I'm pleading guilty, but I really didn't do this. But when I look at the weight of the evidence against me, I think the best thing is to take a plea. On July 6, 2021, Anne Arundel County police found Tassan's body inside Banks' Curtis Bay home. Pushed his body into a crawl space. These evidence photos obtained by WJZ show that crawl space. According to charging documents, Banks admitted to putting the teen there, but denies ever harming him. He says that his son tried to hang himself in the basement. He went upstairs, bathtub. He goes up, he sees DJ in the water. He is unresponsive. He takes him out the water. That's when police arrive. Banks telling police Desan wasn't home. He went down to answer the door when the police got there and didn't tell them, oh, you know, I need your help. I can say with confidence he was very deceptive. Charging documents show Desan's death was due to asphyxia. The only person that could have, you know, strangled him was this grown man. Days before Desan's death, his mother, who was also Banks's ex-wife, filed protective orders against him, asking for protection for herself and her children. But tonight, Banks's attorney says a motive is still missing in this case. He was in this boy's life for 10 years. There was a relationship between he and that boy. Now, Rick City Police telling WJZ tonight Banks has been suspended without pay. He is due back in court December 9th for a sentencing hearing where he faces up to 50 years behind bars. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.